Okay, ladies and gentlemen, brilliant doctors here again. So I wanted to show you guys something. There is what I do every single day. I think I, sometimes I do this before I sleep or immediately I wake up in the morning. I prepare a to-do list for my day, every day, especially for my posting schedule. So even if I don't even make a to-do list about other things, I try every single day to make a list of my posting schedule. So my posting schedule can include different things i can write that i want to post about my personal life or motivation or about my business if i'm running two businesses like right now that i'm promoting my digital skill school and post every day challenge i will include all of those things in my to-do list but how do you create a to-do list the first thing i do is i have the note app on my phone so you see this one that has pen that's the app that i use this other app is also great but it's not user friendly like that you get me so i'm going to open it and we are going to create a new list so i'll click on this plus sign here i'll click on it and it brought us here so i'm going to write to do list here as heading then i'll come down now what you want to do is can you see all of these options down here all of these options down here i don't know why i don't have this my screen recorder is supposed to have marking something so you see this tick icon here i'm going to click on that tick icon then i'll write one of the things i want to do maybe i want to post for peg i'm going to write post for peg now if i want to post for post everyday challenge at least five times i'm going to write this five times post for peg post for peg So as you are clicking enter, it's creating another list. So this is five. Now, if I want to post about DI I'm three times or five times, I'm going to write a post about DI, post about DI. Now you might be wondering, so if you are going to post about DI five times, why not just write post about DI once? No. The reason I won't write it once is because once I post the first time, I want to be able to tick this one. If I post the second time, I'll tick this. Post the third time, I'll tick this you get so if i write it once i post the first time and i tick it how do i keep myself accountable now what to do list does for you it is not supposed to overwhelm you some people say when they create a to do list they feel overwhelmed they feel pressured and all me i don't the reason is because i keep my to do list really simple how do i do that i include so many tasks in it that you people naturally will not include i include making dinner making breakfast reading for the boys uh, making the bed sweeping i include all of those things in my to-do list now usually some people don't include those things i believe those are things that i will naturally do now why include them on my to-do list then at the end of the day you see that those things take so much time from your day and they are not included the things that you think that are very important that you added to your to-do list you wanted to finish with the things that were not in your to -do. before you know everything will just be messed up but when you do that you wake up in the morning and you check your to-do list your to-do list says make your bed you make your bed sweep you sweep do the dishes you do the dishes send post for the first time you post you tick like before you know you see that you're having a very productive day now let me give out this disclaimer you might eventually not do all of the things you write you note down on your to-do list but be rest assured that you are always going to have a productive day with a to-do list so list out all the things if you want to post three times about what list them out on your to-do list other things that you want to do list them on your to-do list and once you are done with that the next thing you want to do that i want to address in this video is pictures that you'll be using to make your post now why you need pictures is because facebook posts right now if any post that doesn't have pictures it doesn't get attention like facebook doesn't push it like they push post with pictures you'll be saying but i don't have pictures now that should not be a problem right but it is good that you have pictures try to always take pictures when you see someone that has a nice phone it must not be your phone and you're outside stand take pictures look at other people the way they are standing in their photos try to cram the styles and stand like that take at least five pictures of that same outfit now those five pictures you can use the five pictures for two weeks repeatedly you are not owing anybody your own is you want to be apologetic unapologetic online post your stuff and face front nobody actually even the reason you like that you are not that important i'm really sorry if that hits but you are not that important 
at the end of the day when people see your god you even inspire them they'll say this person doesn't even care and the person is growing but when you start overthinking things, I don't to use this picture. They'll think this is the only club I have. They'll think nobody is thinking. You are the one doing the thinking on our behalf. So take pictures with clear phone camera. Any opportunity you have, take pictures, selfies, half half cut pictures, full pictures. Perfect. Let them be in your gallery. Anytime you want to make a post, use them. But what if you don't have pictures? There's something I do. I use Pinterest. So I'm going to go to my Chrome browser, and I'll I'll go to Pinterest. Let me see. I think I just did that. Uh -huh. Can you see? Can you see? I'll go to Pinterest. I like to post fashion women wearing well clothed, like they are well clothed, they are not exposed. So I can post, get all of these pictures, and any content I create, I can attach these pictures to the content. Make sure the pictures are colorful because visuals are really important when you are making posts. So it's colorful. It matches with your vibe. You are someone who likes plain and pattern. You are someone who likes silk. You are someone who likes fashion. Like go with your vibe. Come online, search your vibe type of pictures. If you want bodies, if you want Gen Z's, if you want anything, just search for it and screenshot crop very well. Now, when I mean screenshot and crop, let me give you an instance. Like see this picture now. I'm going to screenshot it. Can you see? It has been screenshotted. Some people will not scrub it. They will post it like this. Like it is a major turn off. Do not do that. What you want to do is you want to crop this to this point. Crop this to this point. Make sure it is only the beautiful lady that is there. Stop posting pictures. Some people, some, some people even screenshot pictures from their gallery. We will see their battery percentage. We will see all of the... Why? Why would they do like that? Stop. Some people even screenshot pictures from people WhatsApp status. The person caption is there. The person name is there. Why? Why? For this AI generation. Why? Please do not do that. Crop your pictures very well and make sure only the image is there. Now, another way, another way is the new Ghibli, Ghibli, Ghibli images that you can generate. How do you do that? You use ChatGPT, but I'm not sure you can use ChatGPT on your app, ChatGPT app. So, so we are just going to try using ChatGPT. We are going to try using ChatGPT. So, I type ChatGPT on my browser. I type ChatGPT on my browser. It is opening it. So, let's just wait for it to load. <laughs> Internet, they verify say me I be say I be human. <laughs> I be I'm the one that's supposed to verify if them they are human. Now what I'm going, what you are going to do? I don't use Apple. Let me try to log in. I don't know why it was supposed to log in. Now. Let me continue with Google. So you just go to ch type chat GPT, go to chat GPT, sign in with your Google account and you are good to go. Again. Again. Okay, so we are here. This is the place where you are supposed to enter prompt, right? What we want to do here is we want to upload want to attach a video i think i'm supposed to be able to attach something here so i'm going to copy the prompt i'll leave the prompt for you guys right so the prompt is i think i have the prompt somewhere here the prompt is give me a studio ghibli style version of this image so i'm going to copy it that prompt then i'll paste it here then i'm supposed to add image why am i unable to add image <laughs> Save memory full. They say save memory is full. Uh uh. Save memory full. Yeah. Bahala. Let's try this on the app and see. They say you can't do it on Apple, but let's try it. So I have the app. I've gone to. Maybe this is why. They say I've hit the free plan limit. Let me try. You're out of upload. so uh, i'm going to wait till my stuff comes back like i'm out of upload because i've used chat multiple times today so once i come back i'm going to come back to do it <laughs>